Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination, class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student, where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also, we handle custom requests. A key features is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests and all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those on new book a free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. I am Shashank sir and today I will be teaching you a new chapter rounding off and estimation. Yes, so today's objective will be we are going to understand the meaning of estimation. We are going to understand why estimation is needed and we are going to learn rounding off numbers. So all these things we are going to learn in our today's class. So let's take an example. Rahul's birthday is there in next month and his parents are planning a party for him. Rahul's father asked him, his mother, how many guests are expected to come? So yes, so the mother-in-law replied, so maybe around 100 guests. So what do, did she mean? 100 means like are there going to be 100, exactly 100 guests or something more, something maybe less? So yes, this 100 is an estimated number. It means the number of guests might not be exact 100, but it will be near 200, maybe 110, 120, okay, maybe 90, 80, but not more than that. Yes, so the need of estimation, the number of guests in a party, okay, estimate the time required to cover a distance. Yes, when we travel, we make an estimate like, Depending upon the speed of the car and distance left, condition of the road, climate, everything, we make an estimate, oh, we are going to reach certain distance. So, population of a country or a state, we do some estimate. Now, there is another term called rounding off of numbers. What is this rounding off? You may have seen the price tags of so many items, online shopping, okay, 499, 999, 14999, okay, so yes. But we often end up paying 1 rupees more, not if you are paying from the credit or debit card, but if you pay in cash, you say, you pay them 500 for 499, 1000 for 999, yes. So, because it was easy to pay 500 or 1000 rather than this many, right? 9 rupees, where will you arrange 9 rupees change and 900 to ho jayega, 90 bhi arrange karna hai. So many things. So, this is what, what is this? In mathematical, mathematical term called as. This EVZ payment of money is nothing but rounding off of numbers. Okay, so why do we need round off numbers? Rounding off numbers is done to make calculations easy. Yes, let's see the definition. Now. Rounding off a number means replacing the exact number with more convenient number, which is easily understand and very close to the original number. For example, if you buy a mobile of 9,999, we can round it off to 10,000. The distance between Delhi and Jaipur is 281 kilo, kilometer. We round it off and say it is either 280 kilometers or 300 kilometers. Yes, so 300 kilometers ko jane ke liye jitna petrol chahiye, utna bharwa lete hai. So methods of rounding off to the nearest tens. So let's take an example of round off of 75 to the nearest ten. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. 10 close to 77 and see this 77. Tell the tables of 10 near to 77. So it is 10 7 is 70 and 10 8 is 80. 77 is between 70 and 80. Now, if you compare this, 77 is more closer to 80. If you draw a number line, this is 70. This is 80 in the middle 75. Here we have 77. It is more close to 80. So 80 is the answer. Got this? 
this is how we calculate this and next yes so rounding off to the nearest hundred how to round off the nearest hundred yes let's take an example of see i'll teach you the easiest way nearest hundred to this so 100 ka table bol hai. nearest 200 is 100 and 200 okay it is between 100 and 200 so it's half hai. 150 150 ke either hai ya either hai. 150 ke right side hai. so it is right side of 150 so near to 200 so the round off it will be 200 hence 200 is the nearest round off of 177 next rounding off to thousand again this so round off the number close to 1462 tell the tables of thousand thousand one the thousand thousand two the two thousand it was between these two numbers mid is thousand five hundred now this is to the left side okay it is near to this so the nearest round off will be 1000. Yes. So, rules of rounding off observe the next digit of the number to the given place of rounding off. If the number is greater than or equal to 5, add 1 to the digit in the left. Also, replace the number with 0 if it is less. And the remaining number if the number is less than five no change in the digits to the left also leave, replace the remaining digits with zeros okay now let's round off to the nearest tens okay so rounding off observe the next digit of the number to the given place of rounding off if rounding off the nearest and observe the ones place okay so this number okay so is it greater than 5 yes it is greater than 5 so add 1 to the number on the left so the answer is 760 yes and replace that number with 0 yes so see this number now 756 now if we want to replace this to the nearest 100 so 756 6 is greater okay so greater than this okay or just think like this 756 is between 700 and 800 it is greater than 750 so the nearest round off is 800 increase this one increase this one nearest is this okay since the number 5 add 1 to the digit to the left and replace 6 with 5 and with 0 replace 6 and 5 with 0 0 increase a 7 by 1 and replace 5 with 0 0 yes now rules of rounding off to the nearest thousand check out the hundreds place is it less than 5 yes it is less than 5 so left number as it is and replace all the numbers by 0 yes so this is the answer yes it says click here let's click here and check okay so we may be having some game let's play this game okay so round it to the nearest ten thousand okay so one two three and okay so this is greater so it is okay the number just got changed so replace to the round off to the nearest hundred so either it is this thing 200 or 300 so the nearest round is 3050 check this yes this is our right answer can we have one more okay i will give you my own problems don't worry this will take time yes round off nearest 10 in each of the following numbers so check the last digit and the units place it is greater than 5 so add 1 to the left number it becomes 2 and make this 0 
round off is 20 round off to the nearest 10 okay it comes between 60 and 70 greater than 65 so it is 70 82 between 80 and 90 less than 85 so 80 459 450 yeah mm, no, this is uh, 450 or 460 459 here to 460 yes these are the answers round off to the nearest hundreds okay so yes check these two numbers is it greater than 50 yes it's greater than 5. 8 is greater than 5. So, it is 3800. Zero, zero. 3 less than 5. 41300. Zero, zero. Is it exactly equal to 5? Okay. So, 899 plus 1. It is 902 zeros. 14200. Zero, zero. These are the answers. Round off to the nearest. 10,000. Estimate the following to the nearest 10,000. Yes. So, this three numbers. Is it greater than 5? Yes. So, 2400. Zero, zero. Less than 5? 737. Zero, zero. Greater than 5? 336. Zero, zero. This is the answer got this yes so what did we learn today today we learned the meaning of estimation why estimation is needed okay in case of planning parties in case of traveling in case of so many things even in case of sol uh, solving exams you make an estimate right this problem is going to take this this much time so Bade problems, zyada time wale problems end me karo. Chaldi se, zyada marks aane wale problem, pehle solve karo. That's an estimation. And rounding off, why do we round off? Rounding off means what? Replacing an existing number by a different number, which will help us to make calculations easier. That is rounding off. Okay, so that's all for today then. Students, those who are new, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update. 